Europe or is it the UK that has changed over the time that we're in the European Union? Oh, I think it's definitely the European Union. Perhaps the change was one that was foreseeable, but I think most people in Britain did not foresee it. The European Economic Community has morphed into becoming something you could describe as a proto-state. It's an attempt to create a country, a state called Europe. There are arguments for and against that, but I think most British people are not in favour of that and have certainly never had it properly uh, argued. One of the things you talked about was the inevitability of us leaving the uh, the UK, leaving the European Union. Um, was it was it kind of was it inevitable right from the beginning, or did it become inevitable with certain events like two thousand and four with the the big bang? I, th I think it was probably inevitable in the sense that Britain, much British public opinion, has never been comfortable being in the European Union and various things at various stages have added to that. But I think a lot of British people did not want to belong to uh, a federal Europe. Uh, I think as Europe developed, as it developed the Euro, and the Euro appeared not to work very well, well I don't think it did work very well, it's not just appeared, uh, but that turned people against the idea of monetary integration, econo economic policy integration within the European Union. Uh, the way Greece was treated, I think, was alarming to many British people, so they felt we should keep our distance from this animal. So if we talk about economic integration, we've now got to sign a huge number of trade deals or perhaps do it in blocks with different countries around the world. How do you see, are you positive about our economic outlook outside of the European Union, so from kind of this time next year onwards? Yes, I, I am positive. Uh, I don't see why our trade with Europe shouldn't continue at a very high level. I'm not expecting it to fall. Uh, I look at a country like Switzerland, which uh, is not in the EU, which is more integrated with the EU than Britain is, uh, and exports per capita are five times as much to the European Union as we do. I think it is perfectly possible to be outside the European Union and to trade at a very high level. Geography obviously determines trade to a very considerable extent, but it's it's interesting that many countries that are not in the EU have increased their exports to the so-called single market much more quickly than Britain has. The United States actually sells more to the single market than we do. All right, it's a bigger economy by several times, but it's thousands of miles away. So it's not, in, it's not an insuperable object to sell into the single market. And but I think the single market is slightly an emperor without any clothes. We talked about economic integration, but also kind of political. The amount that we shared with the European Union uh, perhaps wasn't kind of brought to, brought to um, everyone's attention during the campaigns, and a lot of things weren't on both sides, certainly. But so for universities, for example, for policing, for security, are these things that we're going to be able to kind of renegotiate and get back into in the long run to any kind of sort of meaningful level that we already had them Yes, I don't see absolutely why not. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, take the uh, Erasmus programme involving universities. That's not restricted to the EU. Switzerland is a member of that as well. Why shouldn't we be too? Uh, I would imagine that exchanges between universities, European students coming here, people going to study at European universities. I mean, it would be very stupid if that didn't continue. It's in everybody's interest. You know, I believe as long as Europe is rational, and I appreciate there's a certain element of hurt pride, but I would appeal to them to be rational and sensible and to do what is manifestly in everybody's interest. I imagine there would be great cooperation on science and technology uh, continuing. Um, and, of course, the greatest integrator and the greatest ambassador for friendship is trade. Thank you very much.